prove that uh, modulus of 3 plus i over 2 minus i is square root of 2. So this is uh, the, uh, an image that I've Googled. So this is the real arm. So this is the real arm. And this is the imaginary arm. So those are learn complex number. Uh, this is the real arm and this is the imaginary arm. And this is a complex number, general complex number Z which is x plus yi. So modulus of z is, or this is absolute value of z, is uh, square root, or if you take the square of the modulus, it is x squared plus y squared. This is basically Pythagoras theorem. So you can say z is square root of x squared plus y squared. Okay, so now the question is, you want to prove uh, that the modulus of this uh, complex number is square root of 2. So before we uh, do that, let's simplify this complex number. So 3 plus i over 2 minus i. Now when you, whenever you have a complex number in the numerator and denominator, to simplify it, you have to multiply by its conjugate. So the conjugate of 2 minus i is 2 plus i. So I'm going to multiply by 2 plus i with both the numerator and the denominator. Okay, so expanding this out, so this is 3 plus i times 2 plus i over, I'm just writing this in brackets, so this is 2 minus i times 2 plus i. So if you expand this out, so this is using FOIL, so 3 times 2 is 6, plus this is 3i plus 2i is 5i plus i squared over, expanding this out, this would be 4 minus i squared. Now by definition, you should be knowing that i is square root of negative 1, which implies i squared is negative 1 i is an imaginary number which is defined as square root of negative 1. So in place of i squared, I can replace it by negative 1. So this simplifies to 6 plus 5i plus negative 1 over 4 take away negative 1. So this simplifies to, this is 6 plus negative 1 is 5, so this is 5 plus 5i over 4 take away negative 1 becomes 5. Okay, now if you factor the 5 out, you can write 5 times 1 plus i divided by i, sorry, divided by 5. So this whole thing, so we can say this implies, so let me scroll this up slightly, so we can say this implies uh, 3 plus i over 2 minus i is 1 plus i. So or you can say modulus of 3 plus i over 2 minus i is same as saying modulus of 2 plus 1 plus i. Okay, now modulus 1 plus i is the absolute value. So let me draw the argand diagram. So this is your real arm and this is your imaginary arm. So this is your real numbers and this is your imaginary number. So 1, say this is 1 on the real number, and say this is i, yeah. So this point is your 1 plus i. Okay, so let me draw a vector. Let me draw a vector here. So this is what basically they're asking is, what is the length of this? So if this is your z, so let me call this z this is absolute value of c, which is, so if you draw a right angle triangle, so this is 1. Okay, so this is using Pythagoras. I can say this distance is 1, or this length is 1, and this is also 1. So I can say modulus of z is, using Pythagoras, it is square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared, which is square root of 2. And that's what we want to prove. So this implies absolute value of 3, 3 plus 
i over 2 minus i is equal to square root of 2.